welcome to this new tutorial on my channel in which I will be showing you how to make this little book sleeve. And I love this so much, it looks super cute with the little bow in, by which we can close the book sleeve. And also I would say it's not too difficult to make, so I will also try to explain this in a beginner friendly manner. If you get any questions, please ask them down below in the comments. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright, let's get started. For this project you can use any yarn you would like. Just know that it will have an influence on the way your book sleeve will look. For example, velvet yarn looks different from acrylic yarn. Also, if your yarn is thinner, it will take you a bit longer to complete the book sleeve, but that is just something for you to keep in mind. I will be using velvet yarn in this pinkish color. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter hook, scissors, a darning needle, a stitch marker, and a book for measuring. All right, so now for making the book sleeve, we're going to start off right here at the side. We're going to work our way up like this till we get to the part where we're going to make the strings for the bow. All right, so grab your yarn and we're first going to make a slip knot. And for making a slip knot, I put the yarn in between my right middle finger and thumb. I wrap it around my index finger to create a loop. Okay, hold that with your left hand, pull out your index finger. Now through the loop, we're going to pull through the long yarn end. So go into the loop, grab the long yarn end with your right index finger and thumb, and you can tighten it by pulling the short yarn end. All right, that's our slip knot. Now grab your crochet hook and we can tighten it by pulling the long yarn end. Okay, so now we're going to make a chain and we're going to make the chain just as long or a bit longer than the length of your book, like this. All right, so now for making a chain, we're gonna go underneath the yarn end with our crochet hook and we're gonna pull this loop through the loop on our hook. So that's our first chain. Let's do that again. So we go underneath the yarn and pull it through the loop on your crochet hook. And we're going to do that just as many times till we get the length of our book. So let's do that. All right, so once your chain is long enough, we can start making the first round. I'm first going to put the book to the side and I'm going to zoom in the camera a little bit so that it's easier to see on camera what I'm doing. All right, so now to start off the first round, we're first going to make one more chain and we're going to skip this first chain. And from the second one onwards, we're going to do one double crochet in each of the stitches across. All right. So to make a double crochet, we're first going to yarn over, then go into the chain, into the second chain from our hook, pull through the yarn. Now you got three loops on your hook. Grab the yarn once again and pull through the first two loops. Now again, we yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So that's our first double crochet. Now I think it's helpful to insert our stitch marker right here so that we know that this was our first double crochet. And also one more thing, if you are working with velvet yarn, it might be a little difficult to see all of your stitches or all of your chains. So what always helps me to keep count of my stitches is to just keep counting all of the double crochets that I'm doing. So I know that I did a total of 30 chains so I should have a total of 30 double crochets on this side of my chain. All right, so this was the first one. Now we're just going to do double crochets across. So yarn over, go into the next chain. Okay, and do a double crochet. That's our second double crochet right here. We're just going to do this all the way across. And I will see you again once we are at the end of this um, round. All right, so I just did my last double crochet and now this side of the chain is finished. Now, conti now to continue the first round, we're going to start making double crochets on this side of the chain as well. So for that, we're going to flip our work like this 
And we're also just going to do double crochets on this side of the chain. All right, so to do that, yarn over, find your first space on the other side of the chain. So like this. And make a double crochet in there. All right. Now look for the second space. So this was the first one. This is the second one right here. And do another double crochet in there as well. Okay, just keep doing this till you get to the end of the chain again. And I will meet you right there. All right, so I just finished doing 30 double crochets on this side of the chain as well. So now I know that the round is finished. This extra V right here was our extra chain one. So now we can get this stitch marker out of here and do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we did. Like this. Now into the slip stitch, we can put our stitch marker. And now to start the second round, we're first going to chain one. And once again, we're going to do double crochet all the way around. And the um, stitch, so the slip stitch where our stitch marker is inserted, here you should be putting in your last double crochet. All right, so for making the first double crochet, we're first going to yarn over. Here we did our slip stitch. And into the next space, we're going to do our double crochet. Like that. Okay, now just do double crochets all the way around. And I will meet you once we land back on the marker. So I now reach the space of the stitch marker. So get that one out and do your last double crochet in there. Now to finish this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we did. So this next V that you see from your hook is the chain one. So we're going to skip that one. And this right here was our first double crochet. So we're going to go in there and do a slip stitch to connect the round. Okay. Now, once again, into the slip stitch, you're going to insert your crochet hook. And we're going to do the same thing as we did last round for the next couple of rounds till you cover like the width of your book. So, for example, if this is your book, you're going to want to make the book sleeve as long as this width. All right. So this is going to take you some time. Just so just pause this video and make sure that you get enough rows. And once you are happy with that, come back to this video and I will explain to you how you can make the bow on your book sleeve. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, so as you can see, my book sleeve is now covering the entire book. I even made the book sleeve a little bit longer than just the width of my book. And I did that because this book is a little bit thicker. So I needed more rows to cover the entire book. And one way to check that is to just put your book into the book sleeve and see whether the book sleeve is, is covering your entire book. Because that is quite important for the protection that it's going to give. So that's okay for me now. So I'm going to start on the round in which we're going to make the strings for the bow. So for that, we're going to do slip stitches all the way around, except for the middle two stitches on this side of the book sleeve and on this side of the book sleeve, because here we're going to add the chains. So first we're going to have to find the middle part of our book sleeve. And I've got a little trick for that because I don't have measuring tape with me right now. So just one way to decide which two stitches are the middle ones is to fold your work in half like this. And now because we're first going to look for the middle part on this side of the book sleeve, when we fold it in half, it's the middle part of the book sleeve. So that's this one right here. And the middle stitch is probably these two. And we're going to need two stitches. So I'm going to first 
insert my stitch marker into the first middle stitch that we're going to come across. So that's right here. All right, I hope that was a bit clear. Now we're going to do slip stitches till we get to that stitch marker. So just do simple slip stitches like this. And once we get to the stitch marker, we're going to do a slip stitch in there as well. And now we're going to make a chain. And the chain doesn't have to be an exact amount of chains or length. Um, I'm going to do 35 chains with a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So if your crochet hook is a little bit smaller, you can do more chains. And if your crochet hook is bigger, you can do less chains. Just um, try something out. It doesn't need to be an exact length. So I'm going to do 35 chains. Right, I just did 35 chains and it's about this length. Okay, next to the book sleeve, it looks like this, just to give you an indication. And now we're going to do slip stitches back onto the chain till we get to this next stitch on our book sleeve right here. Okay, so skip the first chain and into the second chain, we're going to start doing slip stitches all the way across. Alright, so I just did my last slip stitch right here. And now into the next stitch on our book sleeve. So here we did the slip stitch, the last slip stitch. And to this one right here, we're going to continue doing slip stitches. And we're going to do this all the way across till we get to the other side of a book sleeve. And we're going to make sure that the stitch where we're going to start making a chain lines up with this one. So just do slip stitches all the way across till you get around the middle part of the next side. I think I'm close now to the middle part. Let's see. Make sure your work is flat. 
And let's check which stitch lines up with this one. Yeah, I think we can start doing chains right now because it's lining up quite perfectly. So I'm just going to do the same amount of chains as we did for this one. So for me, that's 35. And now we are going to do slip stitches all the way back to till we get to our book sleeve again. Right, so I just did the last slip stitch in our chain, um, in our chain, and now we're going to look for the next stitch on our book sleeve, and we're going to continue doing slip stitches till we get to the beginning of where we started doing slip stitches. So that's around here. See, that's the first, um, this is the first slip stitch that we did, I think, because here is the part where we always started our rows. You can see that right here. It doesn't need to be exact, like you don't really see it that well where you end your round, because we did only slip stitches for this round. So it doesn't really matter that much, but just um, finish your work somewhere around here. And then cut off your yarn and then it's almost finished. The last thing we're going to have to do is to hide this yarn end. For doing that, I grab my darting needle and I get the yarn through there like this. And then I'm just going in somewhere randomly. So I'm first going to go inside the same stitch where we did our last slip stitch like that then on the inside of our work I just go somewhere randomly and just make sure that your needle is not poking out like you can see it right here it's also not on this side so once you get that just pull it through there. Okay, just something like this is fine. Then we can cut off the yarn. Right, so now our little book sleeve is finished and 
let's put our book in there just to see how it all looks like that make sure covers it and now we can make the bow into the two strings um, that we made let me show you how i always do it i first just make a crossover knot like this like you would usually do and now for making the bow i always make one big loop with this string and also make one big loop with the other string like this now i cross them and i make one go into the hole that you create and tighten it like that okay now you can tighten it and pull the strings to make the loop smaller and the strings bigger and i always think that that looks quite nice all right so now the book sleeve is really finished Please let me know how it went for you. If you liked the video, don't forget to give the thumbs up. This would help me a lot. And also, if you would like to see more videos like this one, subscribe. And I hope I will see you in another video. So thank you for watching and see you.